Canvas came to me asking what two works would I steal from the art fair this year. The answer was easy. I found those two works uh, within the first 20 minutes of the fair. And funnily enough, it was by artists I know very well. One of them being Yusuf Nabil. I got to know Yusuf a year and a half ago. He's a fantastic Egyptian artist based in New York. And I'm a collector of his work, big fan of his work, and a friend of his. So that was natural to me. Uh, Yusuf's work have been inspired by the Egyptian cinema from the 50s. One of his best works was Amani, which is this work shown at Gallery Natalie Obadia at Art Dubai. His works have been inspired by Egyptian movies. He grew up asking his mom, you know, who are these actors? Where did they come from? Are they still alive? She told him that they passed away, but they live on through the movies. In this specific case, what Yusuf does is he takes a picture in black and white and then hand colors it. As you can see, it's very detailed, so it looks like a full-on colored picture, but the cool part is it's all black and white and it's all hand colored. The interesting thing about this work is that it's a, very, it's a friend of his, and it's a very pretty friend. It's a central picture. She looks lost. Um, you know, it's the part of Egypt that Yusuf goes back to. You know, she has this crochet, and it's kind of off the shoulder, and it's a part of Egypt that Yusuf remembers. Yusuf shows everywhere. He's shown in New York, he's shown in London, he shows in Paris and now at Art Dubai. And I'm really excited to steal Yusuf. And if I could, I would uh, Ali look the other way and we'll see. So the second work I'd like to steal from Art Dubai, but it's much, much larger than the first work, so it's going to be a problem, is a work by Kamruz Aram. It was a continuation of his Brute Ornament series that he showed at Green Art Gallery last year. I love Kamruz's work because personally, I know the guy, I'm friends with him. And to me, it's important to get to know an artist and find out what they're about, what their thoughts are. Their works are much more interesting once you know them, once they're friends with them. So this specific work is amazing because it takes a lot of inspiration from Persian carpets. I'm a big Persian carpet fan. It takes inspiration from uh, the florals in Persian carpets, the patterns in Persian carpets. Uh, it's almost like a Persian carpet painting, which is cool. Uh, so the cool thing is that Kamruz, who lives in New York, constantly blends East and West. He always studies how Eastern ornament affected and influenced Western modernism. And the cool thing is that he constantly blends East and West. He's an Iranian based in New York. He had to leave during the uh, revolution and he constantly has this back and forth. Another interesting thing about the specific piece is the middle of the piece where those patterns are was actually shaved down, it was sanded down. And this cool light resonates from the center of the piece, which is unbelievable. I don't know how he does it, which is a really cool aspect. So living in New York, I took the trek to Brooklyn, where to Bushwick actually, which is a really up and coming part of Brooklyn where all the artists have their studios. I went into Camarusa's studio not knowing what to expect. And I walk in and was fascinated. He has a fantastic works on paper. He has fantastic canvases, amazing collage. He's really a multidisciplinary artist. He's a really cool guy. He's an intellectual guy. The first thing we started talking about was history in Iran. Only after a couple of hours did we start talking about art. And you can tell that he is a genius. He knows a lot about the world. And he really blends that into his art. So this is definitely a second piece I would steal from Art Dubai.